We're Emily and John and welcome back to Camp Out West. If you're new here, we've just sold our house and bought this abandoned caravan park in West Wales, which we're renovating so we can build a tiny home. In today's video, we start work clearing and cutting back our overgrown three acre plot. We start breaking down and clearing out another abandoned caravan. John's let loose with a chainsaw and we install something important from Reolink after having some unwanted visitors on our land. Lastly, we get a behind the scenes look at our chassis being made ready for our tiny house build. So yeah, today is an exciting day. We've got our first piece of equipment that we've bought. This is a rough cut, brush cut mower. Um, we picked this up off Facebook Marketplace. My dad managed to find it, um, drove about an hour to get it. And uh, the people that had bought it, they'd had it in the shed in storage for like 10 years. So we bought the machine, we bought it, I think we only paid like 250 quid for it. And then um, we spent a hundred pound having the engine completely serviced. So new filter, new oil, new carburetor, um, new belts. So we're excited for this to attack mm -hmm. the backfield of the land because uh, it's a lot of stuff to do with the strimmer. So hopefully this is going to speed things up for us. Our land has been untouched and left to go wild since the last owners moved out over 10 years ago. It's completely overgrown now. It's a mix of grass, ferns, thick brambles and reeds. So we've opted for this brush cutter as it's designed for this type of terrain and has got the power to cut up to 40mm thick saplings. Absolutely soaking. <laughs> Happy? Yeah, look at that. Look at my left hand's dead from just holding the throttle. Mm. Day two, and John's back at it with our new brush cutter mower, this time tackling the back of our land, which is dense with thick overgrowth. I think it's safe to say a John is in his element. Maggie's having the best time exploring all the new space. So we were going along and then the blade just cut out and I just thought it was the belt snapping again. So the belt is completely intact. When the belt flew off, flew off it's like ripped some of the electrics out again. So we need to sort that out. But the main problem is this main pulley, it's too hot to touch. Um, basically the bearing or something underneath there has, has gone. So I'll turn it upside down. You see that? That's the, the bearing that the, the blade all goes on. Put this closer. So literally, if you look at the top pulley. Oh yeah, it's not so what, whatever bearing that's up in there has just gone pop. You can see that's the bearing casing, and I guess him, if you go and look hard enough in the grass, you'll probably find some ball bearings. So, yeah. Is it going to be expensive to fix? If we can even find the part is the issue. Because it's an American machine, I don't know if we'll be able to get the part. But yeah, this is how far we got with the, with the machine. We cleared all this, found all this cut down wood just lost in the grass. Nice to cut all this. And then all the way down to like the bottom part and the boundary of our land. And this lovely pair of oak trees. Up here? Hey, let's go. Hey, this way. Hey, come on, this way. So we're in the area that we cut down with the brush cutter. And then we've got this one dead tree. Well, there's a couple of them on the, on the back here. And we're gonna use our new chainsaw. It's like a battery powered chainsaw we've been sent. So 
first attempt at cutting the tree down. It's not too bad. <laughs> not the worst. So we're just gonna chop it up now and then store it for a couple of years and then we can burn it. So we're just about to start breaking down one of the caravans. We're gonna do this one on the end here. So we're just taking out the last few bits inside. I'll show you where we're at. We haven't actually shown you in this caravan yet. So this is the last one that the old owner lived in. We're just taking off all the curtains and seeing what we can salvage. So we found a water heater. Um, which doesn't look too old, so we're going to see if we can take this out and reuse it. Um, but we've emptied all of the rubbish. The bedroom in here, the floors are completely rotten. You can see where it's had a leak and the water's just been coming in. And the floor's so soft back here, so you have to be really careful. We're about to start knocking down all the the kitchen cabinetry and then once the inside of this is out then same with the back rooms we can start cutting down or we'll cut out the windows first and then we'll start cutting down the the outside aluminium see how far we can get today I just thought I'd show you where we're at right now. It already looked like a dump site, now it looks even worse. So we have got our piles of wood out here, which we're gonna burn. This is our burn pile. To put it all here together. And then I'll just walk you down. We've got our continually growing pile of metal which we should hopefully get collected to be weighed in. And then this is all the MDF that we've taken out of the caravan. So that's gonna to go to a recycling point tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's all the internal bits, all the internal walls. The old oven, which we should be able to recycle tomorrow. We managed to get out the water boiler, which it looks quite new. So we're gonna see if we can use this somewhere. And then John has just taken out the last few bits of the caravan. But this is it now. Time to start the cleanup. We couldn't believe how much material was inside this one caravan, especially when we have four in total on the land that we need to break down. So the van is almost full. We don't want to fill it all the way to the top because we're just conscious it might be too heavy the load so we're gonna stop now we've nearly done everything so we've just got these little bits left so we're gonna pack the van up and we're gonna head to our recycling center there's a place where and um, they actually recycle down the old MDF from the caravan which is really cool so 
Happy John? Very good. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Make it? Should we go then? Day two of breaking down the caravan and now we're gonna start on removing all the windows. Happy? Yep, that's a bit of a mission. It's what we found with this caravan on the end here. It's a lot thicker material than the first one we tried cutting. I'm guessing because it's newer, it's got like a thicker gauge of uh, aluminium. So the machines struggle a little bit. For anyone wondering why we aren't renovating or reusing the caravans, it's because the chassis are completely rotten. So now we're just stripping off the floor so we can bag up all the insulation just so it doesn't go flying everywhere outside because that stuff is pretty toxic. And if everyone asks that why aren't we using the insulation again, why aren't we using it? It's completely filled with bugs and spiders and dirt. So it's not really something we want to reuse in a brand new structure that we're going to build. So we're just going to... Is that going to be... Can we recycle it? Yeah, we're not sure. We'll have to go to our recycling point and see what they say. It's crazy how little there is to a caravan when you start to rip it apart. Really thin timber structure with fiberglass insulation, 2 mil plywood and then aluminium skin on the outside. Today we're installing something really important on our land. We are installing our security cameras. So it feels really funny to have to ask people not to trespass on our land. But we've had a few instances recently where people have been coming on and one guy trying to take stuff and physically wouldn't leave. So it got quite scary. So we were really excited when RioLink got in touch and asked us if they wanted to send us some of their security cameras. Um, so we went for the RioLink Argus 3 Pro and it came with one of their solar panels as well so the reason we went for this model um we really loved that it had night vision on it um just because our area is not very lit at the moment we don't have street lights down here and the night vision is really handy and the fact that a lot of our land doesn't have electricity everywhere and um, we love the idea of the solar panel so this is what we're going to install today and we also didn't think it was fair that only us were getting sent uh, security cameras so we asked if they could provide one to do a giveaway for you guys so we're doing that at the end of the video so we're trying to think where to put the, the first camera. So we've decided to put it on this telegraph post. Uh, this is in view of our touring caravan where we're living and you can also see up the driveway. So just got to take this little base plate and mount it up there and then you can sort of attach the camera to it. So I'm going to do that. Make sure that's nice and solid. Good. Here's the camera connected the USB cable that runs up to the solar panel. We are using the Rio Link app, so I've installed it on my iPad. So we've got a live stream at the moment of the camera. And one really cool feature we really liked on it is you can have live audio and you can also speak to the camera. So say someone turned up on the land, um, 
Let me try and do this talk. I'll go over here and see if you can hear it. Is it, can you hear it well enough? Yeah. Get off our land. And then, shall I try the alarm? <laughs> God. John has just finished installing our first Rio Link security camera. So they sent us three in total. So we've got two more we're going to install in the next few days on our land. And they also gave us an extra one for you guys to win. So what we love the most about the Rio Links is how versatile they are. And they come with multiple mounts in the boxes. So we've just used their standard bracket. And then they also come with a tree strap. And then they come with an individual normal stand. So if you want to have it freestanding in your house to watch your dog or inside your garage or anything like that. So if you want to win, just let us know in the comments below where you would like to use your Rio Link camera if you want it. We've also had a few TV channels come to film us on the land this week. So we were able to get some behind the scenes shots on our security cameras. And now for the most exciting part of our video. While we've been quiet for the last few weeks on YouTube, we've been working solidly at our day jobs so we could save up enough money to finally order our chassis. We ordered it from UE Chassis in Northamptonshire, who specialise in mobile home chassis and they've kindly sent us some behind the scenes footage of them being made. We spent so long trying to find a chassis manufacturer that built to the park home regulations we are building to. We started asking in a few South Build Facebook groups and that's where we were recommended EU chassis from the renovation couple, who are also on YouTube building a similar structure to us. Our chassis is being delivered next week and we'll be starting the foundations and groundwork for our base ahead of our tiny house build. If you have any questions about our up and coming build, just let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to enter our giveaway where you can win your own security camera from Rio Link and hit that subscribe. Thanks for watching. Diolch am Gwiliach.